What's up, Stuart? How you doing, man? All right. You ready for me now? I'm, I've been ready. So. All right. The coach is on the road for the unofficial start of the two thousand. I'm done. Coach is on the start. Not even the seat. Coach is on the road for the unofficial start of the 2013 season, and I got the man here, Stood. How we doing? I'm doing good. All Feeling right. good. So what Happy was this off season here. like for you? It was fun. Um, you know, outside of baseball, my wife and I we got a got a house in Naples and kind of moving into that and getting kind of situated down there and. Um, you know, baseball activities started picking up around Thanksgiving, early December, started working out and throwing and stuff. So, um, you know, I was just kind of excited for spring training to start. So that was Naples, Florida? Yes, sir. So next time I'm in Florida, I got a place to stay out. Yeah, let me know. We got to get linked up on the golf course or whatever. Oh, see. Coach got to learn how to play golf. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, you got your first full season in the starting rotation on your belt. I mean, what are the expectations for you as far as the second season? Uh, you know, we'll see. Um, you know, I'm not much of an expectation guy or goal setter. Um, you, know, I, you know, last year I kind of took the whole you know day by day philosophy, and it, and it really worked out well for me. So, um, you know, like I said before, you know, whether whether it's good or bad, you know, I'm I'm going to take it day by day and, and just kind of see where it takes me. Um, try not to put too much on my plate at one time because um, you can only do so much. So, just kind of level out and, and, and kind of see where it takes me. So I mean, there was some concerns about the arm and the going back too far and this and that. What kind of tweaking have you done over the offseason in preparation for this upcoming season? Honestly, just trying to get stronger. Um, I put on about 10 or 15 pounds this offseason. Um, got a lot more loose from the from the waist down. Um, you know, was doing Pilates and, and working out and stuff like that. So just trying to really stay limber and loose and, and Kind of feeling good, and um, you know, see how it translates to the season. And now it's a new era behind the plate. This is Tyler Flowers' time to shine. I mean, what do you what do you guys say about that? I, I, I'm thoroughly excited about it. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I was very fortunate and very thankful for having you know AJ. You know, with with what he's done and who he was behind the plate. Um, you know, kind of coming up as a young guy and, and having that veteran presence behind the plate to kind of lead me through games was awesome. But um, I think I can speak for every pitcher in here that um, we're thoroughly excited to have Tyler Flowers behind the plate. He's he's a hard worker. He's dedicated. He's you know defensively one of the best. And you know I've said it before, but I think with uh, you know some more consistent at bats, you know we're going to see him kind of come through. I mean I've I've seen him sit, hit some balls that I never thought could even happen. And uh, you know he's 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 a good guy. He's a great guy. He's uh, he's a hard worker, and you know I see nothing but uh, you know success in his future. And I'm I'm excited. I'm really excited to to work with him on a daily basis. I think you came in third in voting for the Cy Young Award. Uh, can 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 we get you up to number one next year? <laughs> I don't know. I you know that's that's kind of uh, external and and one of a you know one kind of a back burner thought. Um, you know, it's something that to even be kind of in the mix with was, was an honor and, and was, was exciting for me to, to kind of go through that and, uh, you know, with all that. But at the same time, you know, we're, we don't play this game for Cy Youngs and MVPs and, and you know, whatever, any other accolades. We play this for, for championships and, and, and you, you play for your team. And, you know, that's kind of my main goal is I want to do everything I can to, to help myself and my team out and uh, you know to reach that ultimate prize, I'd rather have that big old shiny trophy than uh, you know a little, a little Cy Young plaque any day of the week, any day of the week. Now I just got to ask this one question because I sure kind of take youngsters behind the scenes. Now you walk in here and all of the other players are here to meet you. What is it like to spend 45 minutes an hour with media just surrounding you, asking your media questions? It's, it's kind of crazy because you know you, I, I've been through the off season kind of ducked off in my house. Uh, you know, going outside swimming with my son and, you know, my wife and I taking him to the park and not really even talking to anybody about baseball or, you know, upcoming season or anything like that. And then you come here and that's all we want to talk about. Um, but it's fun, you know, it kind of gets you going, gets you ready for the season and, you know, seeing all the guys kind of, you know, picking up where we left off. And, you know, obviously there's, there, you know, everybody in the Palmer house tonight is excited for the 2013 Sox season. And that gets you excited. I mean, you see all these kids running around. They got the Sox jerseys, and their parents are here, and they're all you know elated about it. So, 
you know, kind of get you get you ready and get you prepared for it, and you know, kind of get going through. It uh, makes it more exciting. Coach, take you behind the scenes with the man here, Stud Chris Sale. Thanks, man. All right, appreciate it. Pitcher, Chris Sale. Second baseman, Gordon Becker.